CodeCamp back in development and we are in the basic node and express course and we are going to get route parameter input from the client. So as we remember last time we have our uh, replet open with our express template here and um, yeah we're going to get parameter input. So when building an API we have to allow users to communicate with us what they want to get from our service. For example, if a client is requesting information about a user stored in the database, they need a way to let us know which user they're interested in. One possible way to achieve this result is by using route parameters. Route parameters are named segments of the URL, delimited by slashes. Each segment captures the value of the part of the URL which matches its position. They are cap the captured values can be found in request.params object. So if we have this path here, user slash user ID slash book slash book ID, and note the colon in front of these two, this basically, this colon makes whatever gets replaced in here a variable that we can access in request params. So you can see in the request params, due to that colon being there, it identifies in this actual URL that this number is going to be the user ID, and then the book ID will be this number because we're plugging in variable names essentially. Uh, so we're going to create an echo server mounted at the git slash word slash echo, word being the uh, parameter. Respond with a JSON object, taking the structure echo word in an object. You can find the word repeated at request.params.word. Okay, so just using some matching around. Okay, so all we're going to do here is go back to our replet and we're going to create a new git request at this route. So all we have to do here is go down and this is going to be challenge number nine. We want to create a new route. So let's go with app.git and then we'll give it the path. And this is going to be at slash colon word. So this is the variable. This is what will get replaced with the word, and the route will expect this to be something different. And then we're going to do slash echo. So word slash echo. Okay, first argument. Second argument being the request response. Next. We actually don't need a next here because this is just a request response. And then callback function. So as you can see, first argument is the route request response that we're calling back. And this is where we're going to respond with a res.json. So we're going to respond with a JSON object and put it in the curly brackets to note it's a object. And we will say word. And then this is what the key is. We're just call, We're just saying this is what the word is. And then we're going to access whatever the word is here with request.params.word. Uh, and we're accessing it with this because that's what we're calling it here. This word here, we could put whatever. So I can put whatever here. And now when we stop our project, run it again. Okay, cool. We're live. When we take this link and access it on the actual internet here. Uh, if we go to slash uh, anything slash echo we should get back a JSON object with anything here because we're accessed anything with the request.params.word and we called it word here. So again, I put whatever here to pass the test. We need to put word and then stop, start. And now we can go back and refresh this and you can see now the key is word and the value is anything because we put anything in the route. So same thing, I can put whatever I want all one word, slash echo. And that's how you pass values through the route, the URL. So we should just be able to take our link, paste it in, complete the challenge. Your server should echo the words correctly. I do believe we are echoing the words correctly. Let's look back here. Oh, echo word, it wants us to put echo here. So echo, start, stop, or stop, start, and then go back here. And now if we try the link with the same thing, it says echo and then the word. 
All right, that was it. So hope that made sense. Hope to see you guys in the next challenge.